Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And we're going to look at another request. And this one is by YouTube user Don Paisano. And this is MIA Missing in Action by Konami in 1988. This is a sequel to Russian Attack, also known as Green Beret. And it's a little too similar to Russian Attack or Green Beret for my tastes. There are some differences. Uh... One in particular, you can play two players simultaneous play in this one. Um, another one is uh, there was a, a Famicom version of Green Beret in which you could uh, go underground uh, in the game. And you couldn't do that in uh, Russian Attack, the American version. You can do that in this game. You can uh, take ladders down underground and go into lower areas. There is one more weapon than you used to be able to have in uh, uh, Green Beret or uh, Russian Attack. You can have a uh, machine gun in this. And um, you can switch between the weapons. You can hold them all at once and switch between them. You couldn't do that in uh, Russian Attack or Green Beret. Other than that, uh, the gameplay is pretty much exactly the same. And uh, there are a total of six levels. Uh, something else that's maybe kind of interesting is uh, the levels will be different. The first four, uh, like if you play the game again, uh, the first four levels will likely be in different sequence and they might be switched uh, from scrolling one direction to scrolling the other kind of interesting little thing they threw in but the game's still too similar to Russian Attack or Green Beret for for my tastes this here is the last level that we're looking at and you have to uh, protect these POWs actually this is uh, this is 1989 I thought it was 1988 I guess it's uh, 1989 that this was released but uh, yeah I think it's too similar to uh, Russian Attack or Green Beret I had never seen this on, in uh, arcades and it, it was just not very uh, not very popular I'm guessing and I can kinda see why but um, yeah you need to get through six levels the last two levels I guess from what I've read are always the same. They don't switch around like the first four levels. Uh, here's one level. You go you go through uh, like uh, I don't know is this like the Philippines or something like that to rescue uh, prisoners of war and you rescue them on the fifth level and on the sixth and final level you try to protect them from the enemy because the enemy can kill them and if you lose all your POWs that you're trying to escort to the end of the level then uh, your game will end <laughs> uh, when you lose all your lives it's game over but you will always get a chance to continue unless you lose all your POWs on the last level then the game is automatically over But, yeah, you can kind of see that it's really the same game as Russian Attack. The, the graphics are better. The sound effects are better. The music's better. And, uh, like I said, uh, there's various slight differences that are kind of interesting. I like being able to go back underground. And there's a letter. Whoa. <laughs> Touching an enemy is, is an instant kill. I mean, you, you, you're a one-hit wonder, or one-hit kill, wonder, whatever you want to call it. But uh, now I have uh, both grenades and uh, uh, bazooka. Got to be careful uh, coming up there, because there's a tower in which the enemies are trying to shoot you. Oops, I ki got killed. Sometimes you can jump on top of uh, higher areas. There I could not. I tried, and I could not. This is the quote-unquote boss. You have to destroy all these enemies here, and then uh, you will get to go to the next level. Um, 
unlike in Russian attack, uh, your bazooka shots will not travel through enemies and take out other enemies behind them. Which really sucks. <laughs> now we go to this, uh, this enemy base with, uh, with jeeps and tanks and stuff. And, um, I think it's this level. You have to... <laughs> He's got nice uh, footwork to stay on top of that uh, fence without, without losing his balance at all. Uh, but, uh, this is kind of interesting. You can walk through, uh, or walk on top of that plane without being cut by the propeller. But if you walk right into the propeller from the ground, you lose a life. And now these uh, these planes will be moving at you, and you have to move quickly to get up that ladder. First chance you get. There. You don't have to jump over the propeller when you're walking on top of the plane. You'll walk right through it. That That's kind of interesting. You have to do it, I think, like a couple more times or so. That's kind of... Oh, crap. That's kind of tricky with the enemies coming at you. There is a uh, flamethrower, but I'm not using it. Not right now. But with the use of a third button, one button is to stab, and you have the stab from Russian attack or Green Beret. Um, there's a machine gun. Um, the other button is to uh, fire your special weapon, and then the third button is to switch between the special weapons. There's a bazooka. And you can blow up the mines if you like. There's, uh, sometimes there'll be guys that run, man a machine gun. Some air, like I said before, some areas you can jump up onto and some you cannot. After a short interval, uh, enemies will start appearing on the screen. And uh, after a certain distance you, you move, then uh, enemies will appear from both the front and the rear. And enemies will often try to follow you up the ladder. You get an extra life at 50,000 points. close to another uh, boss enemy, and you have to take out a number of enemies from the towers. I've already, I've already been down there. I don't need to go down there. Now, coming up the ladder, you can often put yourself in a bad position at being shot by the guys on the tower. <laughs> and those guys can take you off from above, which really sucks. Thrower. And that was the boss, so I get to move on. I won't play the whole game, but I'll show you uh, at the very least snippets of like uh, the last few levels. I didn't quite make it to the uh, third boss, I don't believe. But yeah, I I wasn't too thrilled with this game. Just just too similar to. Uh, Green Bay, uh, <laughs> Green Bay, whoops, Green Beret, uh, Russian Attack. Uh, Russian Attack made my, uh, top games of 1985 list, my top 20 from 1985, I believe it was like number 7 or something. And again, uh, Russian Attack was also known as Green Beret. I think worldwide it was most most often known as probably Green Beret. And you have to jump over those little cracks in the, in the, on the platforms. There I used my uh, machine gun. You can walk through the water there. You won't like sink into it and drown or anything. You just keep moving, and this bridge won't collapse when you walk over it. <laughs> There's 
uh, I think, a machine gunner I was not quite ready for or not paying attention, and he killed me. Yep. And that was my last life, so I got to put in my initials. And once you put in your initials, you get the countdown uh, of your continue time. And you can just pop in a credit and continue. Game over. Here I chose not to continue, but I will I will uh, show you snippets of later in the game. At some point I used uh, invincibility just so I could finish the game as quickly as I could. There's the boss. And here you want to try to stay at the bottom right, right next to a door as all these enemies come out of the doors. Just tap left and right and stab enemies. That's probably the best place to stand. Up. Everything blows up, it seems, when you complete a level. Lots of pyrotechnics. <laughs> and now here is a snippet of the fourth level. Uh, train. And yeah, those... <laughs> that would have killed me. Some of the black or dark gray clad guys will jump. And the red guys will give you the special weapons. And the dark clad guys grunt when you kill them. Oh, I can't uh, destroy the mines with a machine gun. And now the, uh, the train moves, so you have to keep moving. And a little, little later on, Look at this part of the level. And, uh, yeah, there's a guy in the in the truck that'll shoot at you. And then you have to kill the guys above to uh, beat the level, I think. I didn't. I didn't have to stab him. The computer will take control of your guy, and he'll make him stab that guy to end the level. That was the end of the fourth boss. And then again, uh, this fifth level will concern you uh, getting to the end and rescuing your uh, prisoners of war for the missing in action guys. This was not. Uh, not related, as far as I can tell, to the uh, Chuck Norris film Missing in Action, which was uh, created a number of years before this game. There's uh, another opportunity to go uh, underground. When you see that black area there, that's a wall. You can't get through those walls. You have to go around them you know, by ladders. There's a guy in the tank, and that's the fifth level boss. Now I am going to rescue the uh, missing in action uh, prisoners of war. Shake my hand, or raise your fist in the air, or whatever. And then uh, you have to escort them to safety at the end of the next level. You don't see all the guys that you rescued, you just see three of them. But you have to have to keep those uh, those enemies from touching. Shit, there I lost one. I think I'm showing you what it looks like to lose them all here. Mission failed. And you have to put in your initials and then your game is flat out over. Basically a bad ending. Now uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the good, good ending where you rescue them all. You can, uh, I think you can afford to lose, you know, two of them and still get a good ending. But uh, can't lose them all or it's over. Just keep going back and forth and killing enemies that approach. And there we go. They board the chopper and you get the good ending. 
Now the game tells you something like you must there are more POWs to rescue. Well, that'll that'll happen even if you you did rescue them all. That just means you're going to start the game over again. And again, uh, the next time you play through, chances are the first four levels will be in a different uh, different sequence or uh, they might scroll the opposite direction. Is that uh, Colonel there, like, based on Troutman from, uh, <laughs> from Rambo? But yeah, you just start over from, from the beginning. But that was Missing in Action, uh, or MIA Missing in Action by Konami in 1989. Requested by YouTube user Don Paisano. This is Crazy Climb Radio saying thanks for watching Missing in Action, or MIA Missing in Action by Konami in 1989, the sequel to Russian Attack Green Beret. See you with another video. Bye.